I'm tired. I went on a haunted house and it's like 9 o'clock and I'm really fucking ready to die. <laughs> I want to show you something fucking really redneck. The most redneck thing you'll ever see. I got a new module base for my hay bale popper. You'll notice he's kind of crooked. That's because I got it to work by screwing a fucking sports cup from a bicycle into the piece of wood. I screwed that into there, made a few holes, and shoved the pole into there. You know, I don't even care. And then you see this contraption. This is a regular headphone cord. And this is, uh, you know, an auxiliary cable for my Beats headphones. I don't know why it had to be Beats, but whatever. It's, it's old. So I got this cookie tin and the end of the quick cable is right here. It's just right, just a little bit above the cookie tin. So when I, because this thing doesn't have an IR sensor that works. So whenever somebody steps on the cookie tin, yeah, there's no joke. It actually does fucking work. So I bought this guy today just because, you know, I wanted to have something. I didn't I didn't know I was going to be doing this when I got home. It, it you know, it's probably going to break it before the new part gets in. Because I did call the company today again a second time and ordered a second part. But it's not going to be here until after Halloween. So I, I made this. And it works. I, I'm serious. Well, it did work. I'm, I'm so fed up with Halloween right now. I, I just... <laughs> I just want it to be over. I just want all the stress to be gone from my life. Having to deal with these broken props. I mean, you know what? I paid $50 for them. Th this, is, this is the trouble I've gone through to get it to work. You know, $50 isn't that bad. If I had spent $150 on him, this would be a different story. But since I only spent $50 on him, I mean... Th this will this will have to do. This will do. So I got him just so I could have something, one thing working at least. Um, wasn't expecting to get him working. He actually, he actually works pretty well. Oh, you might be wondering what this is. This is a, a wall I made so I could hide behind it on Halloween. I basically took my two things of cheesecloth that I was gonna make spooky ghosts out of, and I you know, took scissors, tore at it, and I threw a spaghetti sauce on it because I don't have anything else, so I, it's a spaghetti sauce. And that's why the two fans are here. So it dries up the spaghetti sauce and doesn't attract all these bugs. This little fuck. Um, so that's that's what's going on here. That should be pretty good. I'm gonna scare the shit out of a few people. But oh wait wait, I should probably activate them. Bah! I just noticed his sensor was looking to the side. There we go. I want to try this guy one last time. I, I, I can't believe that fucking works. I'm going to test it not using like a part of my body as a conductor. Uh, I guess it doesn't work then. Darn it, I thought it actually worked. Ooh, oh. Oh. I'm debating whether I should uh, store him in the up position or store him down. Um, upside of up would be that it doesn't wear out the spring. Downside of up is if he, if he moves, that cup could break. You know what? Uh, 
Uh, I, I, I really don't want to risk all the work I've done. I'm just going to storm like this. Two days shouldn't hurt the spring too bad. I mean, it's better than a broken, a completely broken prop. All right, guys. I'm heading to bed. Thank you all for tuning in. Ugh, fuck Halloween.